What's up all you beautiful people out there in the world? I'm back with another video. <laughs> now, if this is your first time around here, my name is Brian and I make style and lifestyle content for bigger guys. Well, my content really can be used for anybody, but I make content specifically with bigger guys in mind because as you can see, I'm a bigger guy. <laughs> so if you like the sound of that, scroll on down the page a little bit more, find the subscribe button, click subscribe. There's also a bell icon right beside the subscribe button. Click that, buddy. That way you can be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Now, if this is not your first time around here, thank you so much for returning to the channel. I really appreciate all your love and support. I got a new video for y'all today. Now, y'all have been asking over on Instagram, especially since I've been sharing a lot of the skincare products that I've been using lately, and y'all have seen how over the course of the past couple of months, my skin has improved. Literally right now I cannot be happier with my skin so today I'm sharing with you guys my skincare routine showing you some of the products that I use and also the process I think a lot of people struggle with skincare because they don't really understand the process and everything that goes into taking care of the skin this is just what ha has worked for me I'm not a dermatologist so I can't say exactly what's going on with your skin I'm just sharing you with you guys what's worked for me and hopefully this inspires you to kind of try some things out because again skincare is all about trial and error and figuring out exactly what works for you specifically so I'm sharing with you guys my five step skincare routine today because their skin is healthy skin and when you when you look good, you feel good, you know? Your face is the most visible part of your body, so it's important. Take care of your skin. All right, so the very first step of my skincare routine is actually exfoliating. I know a lot of people go back and forth on whether to exfoliate before you wash your face or after. Um, there's no right and wrong answer. You just have to do what works for you. But I choose to exfoliate before I wash my face for a couple of reasons. The first reason is because exfoliating removes dead skin. So I kind of want all that dead skin removed. That way I'm cleaning the fresh new skin under the layer of old skin I have there. And second, I use a very messy exfoliator. So I ain't trying to be walking around all sticky face and you'll understand what I'm talking about in a second. And having granules stuck in my beard. I like to exfoliate first. I'll rinse that off. Off, and then I feel like when I wash my face any leftover exfoliating or granules get washed away as well but I exfoliate with is actually um, an exfoliator that I make myself and I don't know if you guys can see that if the light is too bright but basically this is a three ingredient exfoliator and it's basically just sugar yeah I said it's sugar which is why I said it's sticky there's also honey in here which makes it extra sticky and then there's some olive oil and I've uploaded a video on how I make this exfoliator so I'll leave a card above I like using this because it's all natural sugar is a natural exfoliator there's tons of antibacterial qualities and antioxidant qualities in honey itself so it helps to get rid of like acne or bacteria that causes acne on the skin and the olive oil is good for like helping with moisture and we all know the benefits that olive oil provides for the skin but um first thing first is I, I use that I literally just take my hands turn the water on just wet my face just a little bit just kind of give it a little moisture for the the exfoliator to just roll around my skin just makes it glide and very gently I just take a little bit of the exfoliator out and just gently just rub it in circular motions on my skin and I do this super gentle like you have to be gentle with your skin buddy like you can't go in with your superman strength on the skin and expect your skin to look good you're gonna ruin the let your, your skin look like that you can't you can't be you gotta be gentle with it treat it like a tomato you know you don't wanna you ain't gonna rub a tomato super hard it's gonna bust open you don't want your face to bust open that ain't a good thing get rid of all that dead skin and like y'all after you wash this this exfoliator off your face your skin is going to feel amazing like it literally it feels so silky smooth and that's it and you also want to exfoliate your lips your lips are part of your face that's important so just take a little of that exfoliator and just rub it on the lips just keep your lips fresh like especially if you're in a relationship you don't be kissing nobody in your lips hard as hell like who does that what they do that at? all right let me rinse this off all right so now that i've rinsed that off I literally keep a roll of paper towels in my bathroom. So instead of using a washcloth to dry my face um, and having to worry about whether the washcloth cloth is clean, I just pull a paper towel off. I know it's not been used before. I don't have to worry about any bacteria that may be or germs that may be on the paper towel. Look how smooth my skin looks right now. Look how smooth and shiny that is. That's that olive oil just at work, at, at work, buddy. It's just making you look just extra glowy and nice. Don't it look good? All right, so for step number two, it's time for the wash. So I've talked about this product a lot. 
Um, I actually did an empties on this. This is the Urban Skin RX Clear Skin Cleansing Bar. I love Urban Skin RX so much. Like I, I use a bunch of their products every day, like in the mornings or before I go out. I use their Clear Skin Cleansing Bar and then at night, and I'll do a completely different um, video for my night routine, but at night I use the Even Tone Cleansing Bar. But since it's middle of the day <laughs> it's in the morning i'm gonna use the clear skin cleansing bar and it is a three-in-one it functions as an exfoliator a cleanser and also a mask yes it functions as a mask use the exfoliator pad it is hard right now because it's dry but it's basically a sponge you wet it I like to squeeze a little bit of the water out so i ain't like leaking soap everywhere and then what i do is i just place the the pad in here and just move it around in a circular motion so it lathers up and as you can see it lathers just apply it to the face. Now, what I like to do, because a lot of people don't do, I feel like a lot of people don't do this, is you're supposed to clean your face for a minute. Because I get bored sitting there just counting one, two, three to 60. I like to sing the Fresh Prince of Bel Air theme song. It's exactly a minute long. <laughs> so, um, I literally just be sitting here talking about this is the story all about how I like to twist and upside down and I like to take a minute to sit right back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in West Philadelphia, born and raised, don't play around this last most of my days, a couple of guys, it was up no good, started making trouble in my neighborhood, your home's made like, look at the kingdom, I was finally there, sit on my throne, like a prince of the <sighs> I literally just rinse the sponge out, and then let the cleanser sit on the on my face, because again, it functions as a mask, and um, you can keep it up there for up to three minutes, so I, I literally just, sometimes just smooth it out, and I just sit for three minutes and let it sit, and do its thing. Alright, so it's been three minutes, now it's time to rinse this off. Alright, and now that my face is all rinsed, take another paper towel and dry. And that's just that on that. Alright, so now that my face is all washed and clean, it feels good. It's time to use my toner. And this is my rose water toner by Thayer. I love this toner. I've been using it for years um, because it has aloe vera in it and the rose water and it helps to soothe and calm the skin. It also is like super moisturizing. Toner is important after you wash your, your face just to go in and move any extra dirt, grime, impurities from your skin. And it also helps to like shrink and tighten the pores and have the skin looking super smooth so I like to use it so basically what I do is I grab one of my cotton rounds and I literally just pick these cotton rounds up for a dollar for a hundred from um, from Target and then I just spray a little of my toner up there literally just wiping to remove any extra dirt because you can actually see some of the extra dirt that's being removed from your skin after you finish wiping so it lets me know that hey this step is completely necessary and literally it just has my skin always looking super super soft and smooth um, after I use it. So now that I have my face um, exfoliated, washed, and I've used my toner, it's time to go in with a moisturizer. And so you can use any moisturizer that you like. I use the Urban Skin RX. This is the glowing moisturizer and it has an SPF in it. Um, super important to keep your skin moisturized uh, because dry skin cracks. So I literally just apply it to my face like this and also to my neck area. And then I just take my fingertips and just rub the moisturizer in. Now I like to use my fingertips just because I don't want my whole hand to soak up all of the product. I want all the product or as much of the product on my face as possible. And then very last step that I like to do, even though my moisturizer has SPF in it, I like to go in with another um, SPF or a, a sunscreen specifically. And this is SPF 30 and it's by this company called Black Girls um, Sunscreen. A lot of guys will shy away from using a product like this because it's called Black Girls Sunscreen. It's not just for black girls. Um, it's marketed towards black girls, but um, come on now. You can use the product and it, you'll be fine completely. I had to go in with the with an additional SPF just to make sure that my skin is protected from the sun. I don't care if it's raining outside, if it's no sun out, if it's overcast, or if it's super sunny. I'm putting on SPF just because you still are exposed to those um, UV rays outside. So yeah. I'm using the SPF every day and you should to protect your skin from the sun. Especially when you're using products that have retinol in it like um, the Urban Skin products. It makes you a little bit more sensitive to the, to the sun. So you should be using SPF regardless every day. Doesn't matter, rain or shine. <laughs> and any sunscreen that I have left over, since my head is always exposed to the sun, 
I put sunscreen on my head too. The thing I like about uh, sunscreen is that it's, it doesn't leave that white film, that white cast all over your face after using it. And it's made specifically with my melanated brothers and sisters in mind. And it's adding a little bit of extra moisture to your skin. So literally you are going to be super moisturized. Your skin is gonna feel amazing and it's gonna look amazing too. Look how like healthy my skin looks right now. Looks like I've really took time and care into taking care of my skin today. So you guys, that is my skincare routine. I hope you guys can take away uh, at least something. Again, this is what has worked for me. It's how I've been able to, to improve the appearance of my skin over the course of the past couple of months. And so so if you guys want to try any of these products out, definitely do so. I'll leave links to all of these products in the description box below. I hope you guys like this video. If you want to see my night skin routine, just drop a comment in the comments section below. Let me know. If you have any suggestions or any specific products that you try and you kind of want me to try out, I may do so as well. I may do so. I don't like to deviate from my skincare products too much. Thank you guys again for watching. Scroll on down the page a little bit more. Find the subscribe button. Click subscribe. While you're doing all that, there's a bell icon. Click that. That way you can be notified every time I upload a new video. And check out the description box. There's links to all of these products as well as links to all my social media so you can follow me every single place that I am at online. Follow that. Anyway, y'all take care. Until next time, I'm out.